I want to see more WA restaurants using ingredients that are grown and produced right here. I think WA is pretty special. I'm Pete Manifest, and I'm heading into the kitchens of some of Perth's best. Wow, this is where it all happens. But look at the size of that. Let's go get cooking. Not too hot for you here, is it? All of By West Eat Best members. It does taste better. We're showcasing what WA has to offer. And all have made the pledge that sings WA to me to ensure their menus are at least 70% West Australian. It's just good to stay local, and local means fresh. I'm here at the Art Gallery of WA to check out Art House Time. Hey Pete, how are you mate? Good chef, how are you going Roy? Very well. Chef Chase Webber is doing some really interesting stuff with the produce right on his doorstep. After you mate. Awesome. These are probably one of my favourites, little zucchini flowers from our little suppliers down just south of Perth there. They're literally picked that day. Dobra microherbs, all local. You know, people bring a lot of these things in from the east, we try and source it as local as possible. Watermelon radish and also the little breakfast radishes as well. They're just super fresh. It's like eating an apple. My, my sweet. And what are we doing today? We're going to do a little bit of southwest lamb. And then we're going to actually cure that. We want about a 60-40 ratio of sugar to salt. Just want to pack that in nice and tight. And then we just leave that overnight. Yeah. This is some that I've just pulled out of brine this morning. It's not doesn't look overly dry. Mm -hmm. So all we're going to do now is actually impart a little bit of smoke on it. You just soak your wood chips. We just set it at 30 degrees, so nice and cold. This is our final product. Smell that's almost got like a bacon smell to it. Mm. So it really is like a pastrami. We call it lamb pastrami. Yum. And it's got a beautiful chewy, a little bit of mm. sweet to it. But that nice smoke ring just brings out that real sort of lamb sort of taste in it as well. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, out in the orchard here, you know, right near the gallery, we've got this beautiful garden right at our front door. Nick Green for lunch, mate. Yeah, perfect. You know, I want to pick one that's nice and green. We're going to make a little eucalyptus jelly for uh, to go with our lamb dish today. So I'm going to pass these ones down to you. Smell that. Yeah, it's great. Literally all we do is uh, just give a big handful. You just break them up, you get the oil out of them. You just steep those in a little bit of warm water. Yep. Just to create a liquid. We've got a little one we made earlier. Yeah, wow. It tastes like the eucalyptus still. You can definitely identify it. Grab one of these nectarines. The reason we picked a green is because we want it to be a little bit sour. This is going to go into our little dressing. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of chilli, a little bit of olive oil. I'm just going to break the flour off the top. Tossing these in a little bit of seasoned flour. And then we're going to put them into a very light tempura batter. And then we're going to go straight into the fryer. Gets a nice little crunch on there. So we're just going to lay you know, eight, nine slices like that. A few watermelon radishes. So it's going to put a few little dollops of eucalyptus jelly. Then we've got our zucchini, a little nectarine and chilli dressing. And I always just finish off a little bit of salt. You know, you can't get any fresher than that. We're showcasing what WA has to offer. Let's tuck in. Beautiful. It's all the local flavours and local produce.